For the next few minutes, I just want to say a few words that hopefully will help you to process the tragedy of what we're seeing right now with the Victorian bushfires. This is Australia's biggest natural disaster in the history of our country. And I don't know that there's any one of us that have been untouched by this. Uh, we, I'm sure, all know people um, who have uh, lost relatives, friends, property, and have been touched by this in one shape or form. How do we reconcile these sorts of things with our faith in God? I think the most important thing to understand right up front is that God is not responsible for these bushfires. The Bible reveals that God is good and there is no shadow of turning with God. He, he's not good one day and bad the next. That He is not some sort of uh, cosmic arsonist out there lighting fires and, and doing all sorts of uh, evil things. Um, these things are, are happening. They are natural disasters. And um, we just need to understand that at these times we need to draw close to God, not blame him. Uh, lots of things that we can learn from these times. And one of the most important things is that as a church, we rise up and make a difference at this particular time. We have been uh, touched uh, in, in very significant ways by this tragedy. I, I have heard a number of uh, stories. Uh, a lady who um, we have known for quite a number of years lost her brother in the fires. Uh, a couple from our church were having their wedding anniversary at Marysville on the weekend and were given 15 minutes to evacuate the B&B uh, that they were staying at. They were able to get to the Sports Oval and they spent the night in their car there with fire raging all around them and then they were evacuated on Sunday afternoon. Um, I've heard uh, tragedies and I've heard miracles. And I think one of the things that's difficult to deal with at this time is that we have tragedy and miracle right next to each other. Uh, one guy that we know that in Marysville lost his home um, next door. His, uh, 80, uh, his parents who are in their 80s, um, their home is still standing and they are fine. Um, you know, and most of Marysville has been flattened, most of King Lake has been flattened, and so on and so forth. These are, there are tragedies, uh, there are miracles. I've heard of people who've um, had the flames lapping at the decking of their house, only to find the fire just supernaturally stop and their house being protected. As I said before, the important thing is that as the church, we, we rise up during this time to, to make a difference. Don't blame God, draw close to God. Um, receive his comfort, his strength. I think there's a lot we can learn at times like these from the book of Job. Uh, Job lost everything. He lost his family, he lost his property. And the book of Job goes through his process of grief, of um, being uh, angry, despondent, depressed, asking all sorts of questions. But the end of the story is that God blessed the latter years of Job far more um, than, his, than his life was blessed before. The fact is that in God, everything works together for good. And over the next few weeks and months, we will have opportunities of hearing stories and being involved in people's lives to actually bring good out of the tragedy of these bushfires. As I said a moment ago, the church needs to rise up and make a difference at times like these. It's uh, demonstrating the compassion of Jesus. The Bible says that faith without works is dead. And uh, those of us who believe in Jesus Christ need to rise up. We need to give, donate, help. And not just this week when the media focus is on the bushfire tragedies. You know, the media tends to focus on whatever crisis is at hand. Uh, in a week or two or three weeks, the bushfires won't be the major crisis that the media is reporting on. They will be uh, looking at other news. Um, but the, the needs will continue. And so as Christians, it's important for us to continue to address these needs. Here at Bayside Church, we will continue to address these needs and to help out uh, for as long as is needed. Two other things that I want to share before we conclude. One of them is that we pray for justice to be done. And those who deliberately lit these fires, we pray uh, that they will turn themselves in, that they will own up to their acts. Um, and if they won't do that, that uh, we pray for wisdom for our police force, that these people will be caught and brought to justice. The final thing I want to say is that times like these remind us about what really counts. In our individualistic and materialistic society, uh, we have a stark reminder right now of the brevity of life and of material things. Can I encourage you, do what you can at this time and also draw close to God 
make sure that your life is secure in His hands. God bless you.